The first step is an initial contact, and that could be a cold call. Uh, it could also be an inbound call where someone calls you. Uh, it could be an e exchanging emails. It could be meeting someone at an at an event. This initial contact is not just let's let me talk to this person as long as I can to either till they either buy or till they cut me off. This initial contact step is two to five minutes, and it's eighty percent of time on the prospect, twenty percent on you. So this is where we start to explain how, what consultative selling looks like. So you meet someone at a networking event. It's not, this is you talking about who you work for and the product you sell. It's about asking that other person questions, learning more about them. So the goals of this initial contact are to pre-qualify. So that's where I mentioned having good questions. So you're asking them que questions, you know, uh, to learn more about them, to gather some information. <clears throat> when you get to that 20% of time where you talk about you, this is where you build interest in getting them to not buy the product, but getting interest on their side to continue having a conversation with you. And you might schedule an appointment, which is the next step in, in our process. I mean, <clears throat> an appointment, you, you may say, well, I don't really go on appointments because I have a very simple product. An appointment could be just continuing the conversation there at that same time, or could be a quick phone call. It could be you sending over information, but it's the next step. And so th if you were to kind of do a traditional appointment, this might be where you talk for 20 to 30 minutes. And notice here, it's 50% of the time on the prospect, 50% on you. So now we're, we're able to talk about ourselves a little bit more, but we're still keeping about half the time on the prospect. So what that might look like if you meet with someone for 30 minutes, you spend the first 15 minutes talking to them about continuing to ask them more questions, more questions than you, you had time to ask in the two to five minutes. So what you're trying to do is you're, you're asking some pre-qualifying questions. You're asking them some hard qualifying questions, which are not just questions that determine, okay, how, do, how well does this person fit with what I need? Hard qualifying questions would be, okay, is this a deal for real? Like someone might be coming to your car dealership and love your car and need a car, but if they have no job, then they're not a qualified pr prospect, meaning you know no money to spend. So that's where you get into some hard qualifying questions. But again, the the goal here is not to sell the product unless you you know unless you're getting you can sell the product. But if if there's another step in your process, then then th that's what the goal is, is to schedule a presentation. And that's where you might sell, the, try to sell the product, give a presentation um, and whatnot. So I just want to sort of outline that because that's very critical to consultative selling because as you can see here, the, the, the amount of attention on the prospect is a lot and it, then it starts to balance out and then you can make it more about you when it's time to sell the product. And again, the way that you do that is through asking good questions. If you don't have questions to ask, then you have no other choice but then to talk about your products, and that's where you fall into product selling.